Hello, this is James. I'm going to go over transferring or moving cache footprint from one computer to another. Um, the process is fairly simple. You will open up cache footprint on the existing computer and make a backup. And I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to log into cache footprint. Then I'm going to go to the tools menu, server database, backup database. And looks like because I'm pointed to a different server, I can't do that. So <laughs> let's show you on this computer. One second. This would be a better example, I guess. So I'll drag this guy over here. All right. So we're going to go to Cache Footprint. Go ahead and log in. Then we are going to go to Tools, Server Database, Backup Database. This is going to allow us to save our database. You can put it on a Dropbox folder, OneDrive, Google Drive, uh, or a thumb drive, wherever, wherever you want to put it. Um, just save it to your computer. Looks like this is the Documents folder, so I'll just save it there. Then transfer that onto a uh, the new computer. You can take your thumb drive if you saved it there, put it in the new computer. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to our website. Actually, I would go to, um, yes, yeah, go to lothill.com. And on the downloads page, there's a couple downloads you're going to want. You're going to want the cash footprint point of sale, the latest version, and you're also going to want SQL Server Express. Uh, looks like this is Windows 7. So what I'm going to do is check the, the system type. And to do that, you can go to um, computer, right click, select properties, or you can go, and then the system type is right here, 64 bit. Um, you can also go to control panel and go to system and security, and then system, and bring up that same window. Uh, third option is to just search for system. So system, and you want system information, and then it'll say it right here, 60 or 4 bit. Just saw it right here, system type 64 PC, so X64. Um, looks like there's another system screen to, which was this guy under control panel. That's the one I was looking for, system type 64 bit. So um, now that we know it's 64 bit, we're going to go to downloads. And you can click on the latest version, 243. Um, if there is a newer version, that's fine. Just whatever's on top would be the one that you want. So click on that and save it to your computer and then install that. Uh, and then if your system is 64 bit, like mine is, you would download SQL Server Express 2008 R2 64 bit and run through the installation for that. Uh, otherwise, you would go with the 32 bit. You can run 32 bit pretty much all the time if you want to. If you don't want to, if you don't want to, Specify if it's 32 or 64 bit, just run the 32 and it'll work just fine. Um, so once you have those two, then I would go to videos dot cash footprint dot com. That's going to take you to the cash footprint uh, YouTube channel. And this very first video is how to install cash footprint. And it will reference those two downloads that you just did. Uh, so you'll just download the software, run through the installations uh, to get the software in its trial form. On your computer. Once you have the trial installed and set up, then you can log in. The default username is manager and the password is password. Yeah, lucky the first time, so I'll turn off caps lock. That one. Caps lock, there we go. Okay, so log in, username and pat managers, the username. Not sure. And then password. There we go. All right, so the username is manager, the password is password. Um, all lowercase. Obviously, I was having some trouble with that. So um, then you go to tools, server database, click restore database. You can say, are you sure? Say yes. Then you go down to your documents in your USB drive, your Dropbox folder, wherever you have it. 
select your backup and hit open. And it's going to take a second or two. And it's going to come up and say, oh, backup done. Uh, there it is, restore complete. And then cache footprint will now restart. When it restarts, just log in. Actually, you know what? Coming from a new computer, before you log in, if, if you've already logged in, you probably got a message that says maximum number of terminals exceeded. So hit OK, close that, go back to the login screen. When you get to this point, we need to transfer the license from the old computer to the new. So hold down the Shift, Alt, and then hit Page Down on your keyboard all at the same time. That's Shift, Alt, Page Down. You should see a license transfer screen just like this. Hit Yes, and it's going to say license is now transferred. Click OK. That's it. Uh, now you can log in with manager and password, and it will bring you into probably right to your main screen um, because you've already activated the software. So the activation, everything, that's all going to come over with this. The only thing you'll need to do from this point is go up to tools and options. And anything on the terminal tab, you just need to make sure that those are set correctly. I usually change the grid size to 11 or 12, and then the line top and bottom white space, I change that to largest. That way you get a nice big grid here, uh, easy to see while you're ringing people out. Uh, you can change your theme. If you had a background image, just make sure that that came over. Um, probably didn't come over, so you'll need to do that since it is a new computer. These settings are stored locally on this computer, not in the database. Uh, and then just make sure that your receipt printer and your reporting printer are set up. Because this is a different computer, you're going to have different printers potentially installed. So you want to make sure that those are all set appropriately. Um, in this computer, we do POSX, um, and then typically you're looking for like, um, where is it, font, one by one, nine and a half, that's perfect. Um, and then cash drawer, make sure that's set up and working, and you should be good. Um, so that's it for moving cash footprint from one computer to another. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. 855 uh,